Uh, it's day 41 or 42. We're at Mountain Harbor Hostel and we're getting breakfast. Just walking my way through a meadow. A little bit of bushwhacking. We made it to mile 400. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> All right, making my way to Jones Falls. It's just slightly off trail. You can hear it. All right, we're here at Jones Falls. Slightly off trail, but really worth the view. Oh yeah. He's getting a little tired now, but at the beginning he was just like ripping, oh. ripping up and down the trail, and he'd run back and like is something different. You can kind of see it in the background there's a river. I don't know if I've seen that yet on the trail. So this is a little bit of a nice change today. It hasn't been like this all day but it's been more flat relative to other days. And I know I show you guys a lot of the terrain but I usually just show you guys the flat areas because when I'm going up and downhill sometimes it's a little unsafe for me to be filming and plus I'm kind of like in the zone but to put it into perspective by the time we got to Roan Mountain um, we had done about 95,000 feet in elevation gain so far on the trail so it is definitely not a flat trail. I'm here at Mountaineer Falls. Pretty nice. Okay, so I just went to, I think it's like Mountaineer Falls Shelter. This is like the tent site. I'm kind of confused on what this is. Kind of looks like it was supposed to be a teepee or something but now it just looks like something I'd seen in the Blair Witch Project. It's kind of hey guys it's day 43. <sighs> I'm just climbing up a hill. I just uh, got out of our stalled campsite. We're gonna be heading to about Boots Off Hostel just like to pitch our tent if we can get there. It's about 17 miles so it's gonna be a good day. The terrain's not too bad. It's actually much less hilly than it has been um it looks relatively flat but when you look at like the elevation for the day it seems like still like 3600 feet but we have like one big climb later on today and then it's just like a bunch of little climbs so it's not too bad um my knees are starting to feel it i think it could be one of two things i think part of it is because of uh my heavy food bag because i have hiker hunger I eat a lot, so my food bag's heavier than usual. I also think part of it is because um, when I was sleeping, I was elevating my feet. And doing that, I was kind of, you know, stretching out my knees a little bit, like, in the wrong direction. So I think maybe I had my, my uh, uh, like, elevating my feet at too high of an incline. So it could be one or the other. I'm uh, keeping an eye on it, I'm taking ibuprofen. I just don't want to push it too much. So if I feel like it's hurting too much, I might just call it an early day, but I'm gonna be taking some zeros, at least one zero in Damascus. So I'll be able to relax on it then. So I'll keep you guys posted. I don't think there's a lot of views today, but there might be some stuff. If there is, I'll show it to you guys. So just to kind of add on about my knees, um, I am doing something about it besides just continue hiking. Um, I have decided to decrease the amount of water I carry, so I've only been carrying about a liter, just because um, water seems pretty abundant on the trail right now. And, I mean, every liter of water is 2.2 pounds, so you think about it, I usually carry two liters of water on me, so now that's 2.2 pounds freed up. Um, and I've been eating my food like mad, and strategically picking what's heavy and eating it. So. 
Um, I'm doing good, but we hit 400 miles yesterday. And when I hit that sign, this was the first time that I was like, I feel like I've hiked 400 miles. Like my feet feel good, but I've got some aches and pains right now. I don't think it's uncommon. I mean, look, I mean, I just hiked 400 miles. Like I'm going to feel some stuff. And I remember back by the NOC, I had arch pain. Now that's pretty much gone. Um, I still get the pain in the morning. I think I do have plantar fasciitis. It's not bothering me while I hike. I'm no doctor, but um, just based on people who I know who have it and what they've been telling me, like in the morning, my feet do hurt. It takes a while for my muscles to kind of get ready in my feet. Um, and I do have to be careful on what I walk on so that I don't get that arch pain and stuff. But um, it's really been much better since I switched to the ultras the ultra uh, insoles rather than the high arch ones. So I didn't expect to come out here not having some aches and pains. I just need to know how to manage them. And once you start feeling it, you can't just ignore it. You gotta do something about it. Otherwise you will hurt yourself out here. And it's a difference. The difference between hiking in a weekend trip and just pushing your body and dealing with it later versus endurance of I've got a month out here. I have to make sure that my body is in top shape to keep going. All right, so I'm just here at Moorland Gap Shelter, which is at mile 413.2. I'm gonna have to stop here and have a snack. I snack probably every hour. Um, I eat a lot in the run of a day, so I might even have two snacks. So this is what it looks like. So I asked um, someone what these were because I saw one yesterday. It's if you want to put a kettle on top of it and heat up water or something. That's interesting. One of the things I like to do is I like to go to all the shelters and then read the shelter log. It's really how we um, get to know who's where and all that stuff. So and who's still on the trail. So each shelter kind of has its own little history and some people put some funny things in the shelter log. So yeah, it's pretty much like our version of watching TV in the run of a day. Some days you're gonna wanna hike more than others. <laughs> today I just, I saw a hill and like there's no real big hills except for one today. And I just looked at it and I just sat at the base of it for like 20 minutes contemplating, do I wanna go up it or do I just wanna keep sitting? <laughs> and that's when I realized I was starting to get lazy. So then I just put my pack on, I was like, just do it. Just go up the hill, you've done way worse than this. This hill's like 50 feet, like just do it. <laughs> You always find something interesting on the trail. And today, we're finding a rustic cabin. called Laurel Fork. Look at that rock face. Neat. The trail looks like it's going to start getting a little sketchy. Alright, so we just came from Laurel Falls, the waterfall, and 
is that we're going around the AT on this corner. It's pretty neat. We just got a preview of Watuga Lake that we're gonna go hopefully swim in tomorrow.